New Live at 5 law enforcement agencies from across our state joining forces today for the to torch run for the Special Olympics. Our Shelby County reporter Ajane Robinson is live at 5 with the two police departments in Shelby County who showed their support today for the Special Olympic athletes, Ajane. Yeah, that's right, Jonathan Morgan, the Pelham and Clear Police Departments. They both carried the flame of hope today to help honor some of the folks that they serve and also protect. Now, the Pelham Police Department named their portion of the run the Gomez leg in memory of Officer Juan Gomez, an energetic torch runner who they lost to COVID in 2021. And with the loss of him, we are grateful that his wife and kids were here today to share in this moment with us and to carry on uh, his legacy of supporting Special Olympics. And, and I think it's motivation for the other people here. The torch then made its way to Calera, where members of the Pelham and Calera Police Department ran together. The best part about the runs are especially like like we did a few minutes ago, running past schools with the kids cheering us on. It just gives us a, a good sense of hope. Police Chief David Heitch and Lieutenant Mike Williams are the new co-directors of the law enforcement torch run for the state of Alabama. And we really want to move it forward. Participation in recent years has, has waned off a bit and we want to rejuvenate and, and re-energize the law enforcement effort to support the, the run and the Special Olympics in the state of Alabama. Now, after leaving Calera, the Flame of Hope made its way to Montgomery and then made its way to Troy for the opening ceremony for the Special Olympic State Games. Reporting live from Shelby County, Ajane Robinson, WBRC, Fox 6 News, on your side.